Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, Wisdom in Golf, and boy do we have a treat today. Dr. Jeremy Moody is with us, and he's also a, um, a high-practicing martial artist. So would you say, how long have you been doing martial arts for? Um, 30 years. And golf? Uh, in my 20s, so I'm 68 okay. now, so you know, okay, about much longer. Well, longer, but longer? not as consistently. All right. So we, uh, we got together, obviously, because we love the analysis of human motion. Absolutely. And, um, and, you know, Jeremy being a doctor, he really relates to what we do and you know, what we've studied in anatomy, and it really resonates with him. And yeah. uh, we want, we're going to do a nice series on our premium channel to help you guys out. And for, for this session here with Golf WRX, uh, we're going to be fine-tuning Jeremy's backswing. Okay. And what was happening is he was wondering, listen, we have a target, and so you, you, you're all set with, I need to paint my picture. Right. So you're going to choose the direction you want to start the ball on and where you want it to end and, and the height that you want to hit it on. And then when you're getting ready to execute, though, you've been, you've been struggling between, you know, how do you get the backswing going? Yep. And what's the flavor of the backswing that's really going to give me the direction that I want to hit the ball on? Absolutely. So, so explain to me the, the couple of options that you've been looking for. Yeah, so I, I, I go through my routine, as you recommend. I try to see my shot shape, which is a new thing for me because I never used to do that, but now it helps me. Right. I see my target. I'm gonna, I want to go to the green square. Yep. I'm looking at the red. I'd like to hit a fade, so my Good. intermediate point is going to be I'm just going to go to the right-hand side of that, uh, that hole there. Okay. So now I know I need to close the club face because my dynamic face is going to be too open if I'm square. Yeah. So I feel like I'm aimed in the right direction. Beautiful. And now I'm sitting here yeah. realizing that my, my flaws are going to be this kind of stuff. And to get to my backswing spot, do I keep flat and then fold? Right. right. Do I just let it, uh, the club face um, open up sooner? Right. And I have to avoid what I want to keep with getting my height. That's my third problem is feeling like I have to lift the club up to get into the backswing position. Okay. So those are the, those are the, the dilemmas I face. Right. So, so, so now let's, let's relate that to the direction that you want to send the ball on. Okay. But it really is also the feel that you want to deliver with, right? Right. So, so we don't want to steer the ball in that direction. No. We, we don't want to shove the ball in that direction. We want to feel like we're able to release the ball in the direction we want to start it on, right? Exactly, exactly. So, which one of those options gets you to more of a, of a releasing type of, you know, of, right. of action to your target? Exactly. So, I feel that letting my club open sooner, feel like right. I'm allowing it to open sooner, right. allows me to feel like I can flow into the picture of my fade. Okay, fantastic. So. Let's look at, so one of, the, one of the drills that we use in that perpetual motion drill, yeah. um, because you were talking about lagging into the backswing yeah, yeah, as yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So if, if you look at, here, why don't you stand okay. right over yeah, here. Yeah. If I'm swinging back and through without stopping, and I'm, I'm doing my cutting of the grass. Yeah. So as I'm moving, I'm cutting through the grass toward the target, the brain's gonna go get the ground, use the ground to get the body out of the way, then I'm releasing through the grass. Now, it releases and rehinges on that side. Right. Now I'm going to go back in the other direction. So the brain goes to the ground, uses the ground to get the body out of the way. So notice I'm lagging into my backswing, aren't I? Absolutely. So the handle comes through first, yeah. then the shaft, then the heel of the club, then the toe of the club, and then you have a release. But if I do that, it feels like I'm hinging early. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. So you, so you have a perception of, hey, this feels like I'm hinging early. Right. Okay, so let's look at that. So if I'm going, if I'm going to do that same direction here, and I'm going to start the club in that direction, yeah. that felt like I hinged a little earlier. Right. But it still feels like I can whip the club in the direction I want the ball to start. Right. So let's see you do that. Okay. Now, 
If we look at the top of the backswing on that one, okay, so you'll notice, yeah, you know, let's get a better ball here. <clears throat> so you'll notice when you did that, yep. it came a little inside and, right. it, and, it, and it was too low on the backswing. Okay. You'll see, and you notice how you had to, yep. you had to come down felt... to fetch the ball because you just didn't have the height to come back down. Right. So let's go ahead and do that takeaway again. Just do uh, same same one. Yeah, okay. do the same one. So we're going towards red. So that takeaway matched the direction that you wanted to start the ball on. Now stay right there. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that feel like you can release in that direction? So after you do that, right. I want you to feel that after it hinges, the upward hinge of the club is going to levitate the arms up chest. Okay. Okay? All right. So don't allow the 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 yeah. club to keep fanning behind you. You let it hinge, but you're letting it hinge up. Right. Okay. So we're moving the club in the direction that we want the ball to go, and then as soon as you feel it hinge, allow it to levitate up into the backswing. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see that again. Right there. Mm. Now that to you feels really high. Massive, yeah. Right. Yeah. Much better. Very good. Excellent. So, in your mind right now, that felt much, much higher? Yeah. So let's go ahead and do your takeaway, let it hinge and let it levitate up and stop at the top. Okay. You want me to just take it where it feels comfortable? Or you want me to make sure I get it as high as I can? Well, so as soon Whatever. as you feel, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So as soon as you feel it hinge, right. allow it to allow carry it to your okay. arms straight up. Beautiful. Stay right there. So now that to you feels high. Yeah. But do you feel like you can still whip the club in that direction? Yeah, it doesn't feel crazy high, not like the one before. Right. Yeah. Right. So then if you add a little momentum to that. Yeah. It's just going to levitate a little bit higher, so. but it should feel like it's going to come back down and move in the direction you want it to go. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hear the compression? Yep. You can feel so, the difference. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. So there's no, and, and did you feel the need to correct anything? Didn't that feel like it was a beeline straight through? Yeah. Felt, felt great straight through. I know I, I went more left than my, my throw was more to the left than I, I think I, I just a little in the yeah, picture, but, but it's, it's, it but had the, a fade flavor yes, though. It sure did. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see that again. So you can go straight over the hole on this one. Okay. Perfect. Good in between. Yeah. That was a very good in between. So did, did that uh, take away and top of backswing feel nice and free? Yeah, it was a little bit tense. Right. I'm thinking about it now, okay. right, rather than just yeah. my old whatever. So, so if you did a little bit of perpetual motion yeah. right next to the ball there. Stop right there. Now, what's missing in your perpetual motion is you letting it levitate up. Okay. So right now, you're kind of doing a perpetual Control. motion that's kind of just yeah, like yeah. a pitch shot, yeah, yeah. right? So yeah. you want to feel release, levitate, huh. release, levitate. Okay. So allow it to release, levitate in both directions. Release up. Mm. All right. So do you see the blur? Yeah. Doesn't that match up pretty good? That does. Perfect. So that perpetual motion and the feel of release into the hinge. So as soon as you feel it hinge, yeah. don't feel like, okay, hinge, I'm done. Right. So it's hinge, hinge, let it levitate. Right, right. Okay. So see if you can get, yeah, see if you can get that flavor. Yeah, I find Very if, I, nice. if I can relax my shoulders when I'm doing it, I, I get the freedom. If I can stiffen my shoulders, I, I can. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Ooh, that was really close. close yeah. Thin contact, but yep. you'll, you're going to love the way that looks in the backswing. So didn't that feel like you waited for it to levitate? Yeah, this, this was all just kind of, yeah. no rush, no, just let it. So it's like when, when somebody says, wow, Sean, you got such a nice pause at the top yeah, of your yeah. backswing. <laughs> well, that's like if you take an axe right. and you're going to 
heave the axe into your backswing. So notice how as soon as I heave, my body gets out of the way. Right. And I, the, uh, the, the axe is allowed to gather up, and then I can just use the weight of the axe to come through, right? So that's, that's the same flavor that you're looking for there. Got it. And I find, for me, that's the part that gets undermined, is what's yeah. under here. I don't believe the weight of the axe is going to do the job. Right. I'm going to have to do something to help it out, and okay. that's when I get into trouble, right? Yeah. Because the shoulders tension and aim the club. Look at that. Now that, now you're talking. Yeah. That was just stupendous. So beautiful strike. Yeah. Now, did it feel that you feel the transition was a lot smoother? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, so man. when it gets a little too underneath, it feels like you, you're always in control of it, and, and then you don't get that kind of rhythm. You only get the kind of rhythm yeah. when you're reacting yeah. to the, the weight of your club, right? Absolutely. I, I practice and I'm shanking and I'm thinking, what, what on earth is going wrong? And then I realize, you know what I'm doing is I'm, I'm coming from here. Well, good luck trying to get my face around it. The, right. the hustle's getting the ball first every time. Right? And because you're so inside, the momentum is going way too, Outside. way too beyond the golf ball. Right. So that's, that's when you have, to, okay. you have to constantly interfere with it. Excellent. Yeah, that wow, so does that look better. good. Excellent. Let me hit another one? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So, early hinge is what you want. Right. However, it's, it's, it feels like it's coming from the, from the backswing and you're, it's releasing in the direction that you want the ball to start on. Yeah. Right? Right. So you let it release in the direction you want the ball to start on, and then, but you've got to let it levitate and allow it to change directions on its own steam and that's when you're going to be really able to time your kinetic chain. Right. Right? Right. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. That was awesome, sir. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you.